once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. What's going on YouTube? Diggy546. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new. Like the video if you like the video. And I won't tell if you click that bell. But let's go ahead and get into this. I've been a Daniel Jones supporter and he's a season in now. He's a season in, about a season in six games in now. Uh, Parcel says 30 games is when you'll be able to tell what you have in a quarterback. I think when he finishes this season, he'll be at 28. And I think we'll have a pretty good idea. This has been a horrible division. He's had his downs. He's also had some ups, but it hasn't really shown on the stat sheet. Still at eight touchdowns for the year, but he's driven us down the field a bunch of times and Wayne Gallman or Devontae Freeman have capitalized on it. So I'm not worried too much about the stats, especially since his first half of the season was so bad. But continuing on, this is the perfect opportunity for Daniel Jones to establish himself as a franchise quarterback. Last year, we were feeling really good because of his stats, because of the big plays. But this year, it's like this. You got Russell Wilson, you got Lamar Jackson, you got Kyler Murray on the schedule. If you want to throw on Baker Mayfield, fine. But you've got some tough games on this schedule. What do you do? Are you going to rise to the occasion? Or are you going to fold under the pressure? Against Tom Brady... He rose to the occasion in the first half or, you know, at the beginning of the game. He did what he was supposed to do, and then he started to fold under the pressure. We don't need you to be Superman. We don't need you to be amazing. We just need you to play within your game, make the plays that are there, and be a winning quarterback. If he can do that, then this team is going to be very happy with the quarterback that they have. Because if he can shine against Russell Wilson and not turn the ball over, or, I mean, everybody turns the ball over. Russell Wilson has, I think, the same amount of turnovers as him. So everybody does it. But if you can clean, play a clean kind of game and make plays and elevate your team, because all you got to do, if you can get, if you can go four and two in these next couple of games, you're seven and nine. That's a lot more respectable than five and 11, or what some people thought would win this division. If you can go five and one, you're eight and eight. Like to win this division at eight and eight after people thought that we'd be picking number two will be amazing. So these next six games, counting the Bengals and the Cowboys too, uh, good quarterbacks are supposed to be able to beat these teams that are basement dwellers, that are not good teams. I'm looking for Daniel Jones to step up and I'm looking for him to lead this team through these final six games and what is a very winnable division. He should be considered the best quarterback in this division, which is a mess right now, but he really should. So Daniel Jones, are you going to step up, grab the bull by the horns, and take this division for yourself? Or are you going to fold under pressure? So if you made it this deep into the video, definitely hit that subscribe button. I make Giants content, NFL content, so all NFL fans are welcome here. And until next time, it's Diggy546, and I'm out.